All right, all right, all right. What's up, guys? Welcome back to yet another reaction video. My name is Jacob McDonald. I come to you as a rugby player, and today we look at the 18th ranked NFL player in the entire league, by his peers, of course, for the year of 2022. It's Darius Shaquille Leonard. Always known to me as Darius Leonard, always a character, always, you know, supremely confident, very long, very long, and in fact, we can see the length here, um, shredded actually. You know, he's about six foot four, 240, 250 from, from memory, which as a linebacker, as a really, you know, as an enforcer out there, is probably not your classic body shape. But as far as what's in here, as far as what's between here, he plays with supreme confidence, he is confident, he was Darius Leonard, now he's Shaquille Leonard, I'm led to believe. Someone in my, my live stream actually told me about that, and uh, look, without further ado, let's get into it. I don't think he's a great dancer, but it works for him, you know, it's different. Sometimes... <laughs> what? Okay. <laughs> Alright, that was either um, Pingu, note note, or he was copying the exact dance that my <laughs> that my my youngest daughter who's 3 does when she's excited uh that's that's just pure excitement i'm not going to lie that's He's what it looks like to me funky looking and it's crazy i don't know about right. that one when you play the way he play it's awesome it's like this i don't know it's beautiful it is it's a beautiful game well 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 would you look at that He's up over 200%. We got to find a way to get a takeaway. We got to find a way. He attacks the ball like I have never seen before. With a technique he's practically patented. The fist. <laughs> yep, just like this. What? <laughs> Fuck, bro. <laughs> that is just insane. What the hell? Let's watch he's it again. practically patented. The fist. <laughs> Yep, just like the script says. You know, oh, what? Okay, so it's literally in motion. Instead of just... Well, I guess, I mean, you could put your arm out with your fingers outstretched, but it, I guess it's going to be more effective if you're really trying to fire that punch slash tackle in there. Um, I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, he's obviously doing the iron mic, which is... I'm not going to say it's expected, but it's it's allowed in the game of NFL. That, wow. Yeah, good luck holding the ball, mate. And it is the turnover machine, Darius Leonard, that punched it out. Darius is really good. No. That wasn't the same tackle, was it? <laughs> yep, just like... So this is in, you know, extreme slow motion, yeah? Grip says, and it is the turnover machine. But in real time, what does it look like? Darius it's like a normal tackle. Depending on the camera angle, depending on the frames per second, that could either look like the most ridiculous Iron Mike Tyson punch, or it could just look like a normal tackle. And I think that's that's the key is 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 uh, being able to do both, you know, punch the ball and tackle at the same time. Because that I don't know if that's the same tackle, but I assume it is. And that that's surprising, if nothing else. Letter that punched it out. Darius is really good at finding the football and getting his fist on it. Darius Leonard comes in and attacks. Oh. Watch the punch out right here. Who else with the takeaway? He's literally combining a punch with the motion of tackling. And that, my friends, that is something new. I hadn't really thought of that. That's an absolute nightmare for the opposing team. Machine, Darius Leonard. Oh, oh, and he gets him on the face for, for his troubles. <laughs> Talk to him about his little secret, but I don't know what he's doing, but... Bruh. It's like every time he punch at the ball, it well, it ain't a secret anymore. Come out. I don't know, man. I don't know how you do it. To be honest with you, I like I don't punch at the ball. I can't punch at the ball. I'm the type I got to put my hat on the ball. The fact that he does it on like a week in, week out basis is insane. Like it, people think, oh, I could do that. He's gonna put his hat on the ball. You're really gonna target the ball with your helmet. Ugh. Oh. Ugh. Oh. You bastard. You can't do that, or else you would be doing it. <laughs> What do we got here? Oh, see? Darius Leonard. He must have long arms. And with that in mind, guys, let's look at his stats. And let's find out what's going on with that name. Nick Minnett. Darius Shaquille Leonard. Born July 27th, 1995. He's 27 years of age. 6 foot 2, 230 pounds. 230. 
It's a bit lighter than what I thought, but and six foot two is a bit shorter than what I thought, but which honestly makes the whole being like a real enforcer out there as a linebacker that much more impressive. Six foot two, two thirty. That is an absolute unit, really, isn't it? Not too big, not too small, not too fat, not too skinny, not too tall, not too short. South Carolina State from 2013 to 2017, so he played a full career there, got picked up in the second round of the 2018 draft, pick number 36, went to the Colts in 2018, and he's been there ever since. NFL Defensive Rookie of the Year in 2018, a three-time first-team All-Pro selection, including his rookie year, 2018 to 2020 and 2021. So he came into the league and was balling out from the get-go. We'll check that. Three-time Pro Bowler, 2019 to 2021. NFL Force Fumbles Leader, in 2021, NFL tackle leader in 2018. So he came into the league with a real bang, didn't he? He may have dropped off during his second year, but he certainly come back with a vengeance, including, yeah, the force fumbles leader last year. All right, what do we got here? Let's have a look at these arms. 34 inches, 34 and 3 eighths of an inch, which is up there. I mean, you won't see many players with an arm length of over 35 inches, except, except for a guy called... DeForest Buckner. And I'm assuming John Jones' arms uh, must be up there too. 6'2", 234 pounds, 10 and a quarter inch hand span. So so I guess, you know, that, that size of a hand, you know, making a fist on the end of an arm that long with the tenacity that he plays with. Good luck. 470 for the 40 yard dash, 38 inches on the vertical jump, 10 foot 6 on the broad jump, 20 reps on the bench. So I'm going to say as an overall athlete, you, you won't get much better. He signed a four-year, $7.24 million contract when he came into the league on July 23rd, 2018. And as we come down here, what have we got? This is going to be ridiculous. Uh, August 8th, 2021, he signed a, a five-year, prior to the last season, he signed a five-year, $99.25 million contract. Why wouldn't you just make it 100 for God's sake? <laughs> in fact, make it 99 and give me 250 grand, including a $52.5 million guaranteed extension, making him the highest paid outside linebacker in the NFL, and I'm not bloody surprised. During the, during the off-season, he had surgery on his back to correct nerves being impinged by his discs. So that was during the current off-season, so let's hope he's come back healthy, happy, and ready to go. Four years in the league, 58 total games, he's been, he has been consistent as far as performance is concerned, he went from 163 combined tackles in year one, 121 year two, 132 in year three, and 122 in this past season, bringing his total through 58 games to 538 combined tackles. That's almost 10 a game. That's going at a real rate of knots. So his 2021 season statistics, 16 games played, 122 combined tackles, 75 solo, eight passes deflected, no sacks, in fact, it's his first year that he hasn't had one sack, which is interesting. Four interceptions, which brings his career total to 11. Eight forced fumbles, which led the league as a linebacker. And three fumble recoveries. So I'm going to say, you know, he's been more productive in previous years. But I'm, a, I'm going to say that they're probably using him in a different way this year. I feel like maybe he's just playing in a different way. Maybe he's not worrying about the, the sack and not so much worrying about the interception although he did get four, but more so worrying about that, that, yeah, that thing. Either way, guys, in four short years, he's absolutely balled out. But let's just see what's, what's, what's the deal with the name? Well, actually, I can probably work that out due to the fact that his middle name is Shaquille. First name Darius, middle name Shaquille. He's being listed as Shaquille Leonard. Despite playing five seasons as Darius Leonard, the linebacker told reporters that his name is Shaquille. And he would like to be called by that when he returns to the field this summer. Shaquille Leonard, it, it is then. That's his middle name, and that's the one he used growing up. Okay. Right. And I guess I can kind of relate in a way. You know, my name's Jacob, although everyone calls me Jake. If I was called Jacob McDonald for any length of time, I think I, I think it would start start wearing on me, and I'd say, look, just call me Jake. And I feel like that's what he's that's what he's done. You know, let's 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 not look at the name sheet for a minute. And let's just go with, with what he's used to. Shaquille Leonard. This is the weekly peanut punch. Turn, Turn it away, Turn it away, Turn over, Keith. Ah, DeForest and Shaquille. What an absolute combination. King. Turn over, King. 
it really is one of the most valuable skills in this game is being able to get the ball out because turnovers is the number one indicator of who's going to win a game. And that's the thing, like, you see a guy running at you. I mean, all you want to do is bring him down to the ground, but if you've got the cheek to go for the ball too, I don't want to play against you. And it's not just fumbles. The man can pick it too. Well, I know he's got four picks, but he didn't take it back from any yards. Coverage, reading the quarterback's eyes. He is a master of reading the quarterback's eyes. He knows exactly when we're going to have a hot route on. If the blitz is coming from the other side, he'll be sprinting over to the other side to break up a pass. It was tipped by Leonard, who caused a pick with a tip earlier. Seems like his arms are, you know, can stretch the whole field. You know, he. Oh, they're almost 35 inches. He just has such long like wingspan and he just he's like got eight arms or something. <laughs> Jones, three step drop, looks left. Fires that way, they go! Oh! Leonard okay. Was called by his middle name, Shaquille. Oh shit! Mac it's got Jones the step up. Name for him might work too. There you go, eight arms. Call him eight arms. Oh, Gary, uh, D. Leonard. How you called him that? Who you called? Because he got freaking eight arms, bro. He picked me off like he went around his head or something. <laughs> Tyreek Hill didn't want to borrow it, did he? He's like, mate, you talking up someone else apart from yourself? No. We don't do that. But Mac Jones does. Either way, guys, uh, that brings us to the end of another video. In the next one, we look at Justin Jefferson, who uh, holds a special place in my heart. I had him in my fantasy football team. Yeah, he did relatively well. You know, he's probably... Averaging what 15 20 points a game. Uh, let's see, let's see how we did in real life. Cheers, guys! Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Go, Shaq.